first time you notice your hair thinning or falling out, it can be jarring. You play it off cool and calm, telling yourself there must be a reason for this, but secretly you are panicking, with a million thoughts running through your head. Is this all part of aging? Is there something seriously wrong with me? Why is this happening to me? What are people going to think? How can I hide this? How can I fix this before anyone notices? Plenty more thoughts race through your head as the self-doubt sets in. Maybe you've had it wrong this whole time, and your diet and exercise haven't actually been right for you. Maybe you are not as calm and composed, mature and professional as everyone portrays you to be. Maybe you don't have the answers and have just been winging it this entire time. You start to feel like a fraud in every area of your life. You are the strong, independent, intelligent, calming presence that everyone in your life comes to for comfort, reassurance, and advice. If anyone discovers that your hair is falling out or that you have some strange ailment, your credibility is lost. How are you, someone who literally teaches coping mechanisms and calming strategies, being told by a doctor that your hair loss is due to stress? How can you be stressed when you don't feel stressed? There must be another answer. And if you can just get the proper diagnosis, then you can get the cure, fix the issue fast, regrow the hair, and get back to the you that you have convinced yourself you are. No one will ever have to know. As an instructor or healer, you are expected to have a certain look. If you are leading a natural lifestyle, you are expected to be thin and fit, with glowing skin and thick flowing hair. Why would anyone pay to be the student of someone who doesn't look the part? You allow yourself to believe that people will begin to talk, saying things like, that teacher clearly doesn't have the answers if she can't even take care of herself. Of course, you feel the pressure to look a certain way. This is your job. But this is what makes this process even more necessary. You cannot teach what you do not know. If you are willing to do the work, the real work, sorry, not a quick fix, but a permanent fix, then you are ready to have that major life change. If you have seen multiple doctors for second opinions, but received the same answers, tried naturopaths and dermatologists, all to be told that it's just stress, but you know it's something more, you must trust that feeling. Nobody knows your body better than you do, and you know instantly when it is not performing the way it usually does. Our bodies have a reason for everything that they do, and it is helping to heal us even when we don't know it. You can spend all the time you want on WebMD or Google searching female bald spots, reasons for hair loss, or sudden hair loss ailments, but let me save you some time, because all that will do is send you down a rabbit hole of false self-diagnosis. And trust me, if you aren't stressed now, you will be after that.